So this is going to be a very inexpensive uh, little redo. All I think I have to buy are um, new screws and um, a couple of 2x4s and uh, maybe some like shims or <laughs> whatever. I think that's it. So $20? No, probably a little more than that, but not much more. We're going to do uh, the big things like sawing the bed and um, creating the new supports for it. Um, we're going to do that tomorrow. But I'm just trying to get, you know, some things going ahead of time just to uh, so we can roll right into it tomorrow morning and hopefully just be done by early afternoon. That would be great. So I'm heading to Home Depot to pick up those supplies just so we're ready in the morning to get a jump start on it. Hey guys, good morning. So today is the day I'm going to rip apart my van. <laughs> um, I got a lot of the things out of here. Um, well, I got some of the things, some of the things out of here. I got all the storage out and all the things out of the drawers and things like that. But um, I just wanted to show you I know a lot of people are curious about my van, and I'm um, just gonna show you the before pictures. So this is my giant bed. Right now in my van, it's pretty much basically all bed and all storage with a tiny, yes, I'm wearing socks and flip-flops, with a tiny amount of floor space. I have a, a little place where I lounge in the evening, and, I, uh, if my back's okay with it, I lay on my back here and put my legs up there. And then um, I have this nice sized kitchen counter, but everything from here back obviously is not very usable. I mean, I can, you know, I tend to just put like things over there. <laughs> it's not that usable, so. like a little support wall, half wall here. And uh, you can see the line. The line where we'll uh, cut the bed. So yeah, it's coming right along. Scott's doing almost everything, but he, uh, he did this for a living, so just sort of letting him go with it, trying to do what I can. But then you got to watch about that. You know, that's the whole yeah. thing there. I don't want to. These are all. No, no, no. Mar up the countertop. No. no. <laughs> Even though it's a cheap IKEA countertop, uh, it's but beautiful still. looking though. Why <laughs> might just split? So be, might be good. <laughs> Brutal force. <laughs> it's a good thing it's only half inch ply and not three quarter right. inch. <laughs> 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 
Damn, you're gonna you not even know what to do with this room walking room. I know. Is there something here. there too? Yeah, okay. Two here. Dang, what we cut out is how much I get for a bed if I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. I love my wife. I bought a <laughs> California King. You know, they don't get much bigger. Right. <laughs> I got this much room too. It's just because she loves me over. You know, I'm like, oh, what does it matter anymore? <laughs> I just have to get the ones in the front, I think. I just have to get this off. <laughs> so do you want to see how it turned out? It's not a, well, it kind of is a drastic difference. It's a drastic difference for me and how I'm going to live in my van. Um, Visually, I don't know if it's that drastic of a difference <laughs> and there are still more things that need to be done But I have it to a point right now where it's um livable and um And I can take it out on the road. So it's um, it's good for now, but it's going to change and I'll update you when I do some more changes um, Yeah, so let's take a look and thank God for Scott. Scott did Scott really you know, originally I was going to do everything because I didn't want to bother Scott. That's something he has a lot of experience in is construction. I, I believe he built his own home, this home, and all the buildings around it. Um, and it's like second nature to him. So he just kind of jumped in and he did, all, you know, most, I think he did all the sawing or most, most of the sawing. And um, yeah, he's just really good at it. So he was, just, it was just like, boom, boom, boom. And, I was just there to um, to <laughs> to assist him basically but anyway so thank you Scott you're wonderful and um, let's just take a look so it's definitely not as clean as I would like when I um, <laughs> show the world my van again this is the same as it was but down here inside I have my fridge and this is where I keep this is kind of like where I keep a lot of my bathroom things and then um, a little bit of storage in there for stuff. Now this countertop was always this big, um, but now I can access the entire thing, like stand in front of it. So this part over here is much more useful than it was before. So this is my little basic cabinet. This is actually an upper cabinet from Ikea. Uh, it's only thir 12 or 13 inches deep. That's what I cut the countertop to also. Um, and here I have my stove and just extra propane or butane. This is a collapsible sink that I almost never use, but um, it takes up no room, so I'm keeping it for now. And then these have really seen better days, but like everything in my van, everything's kind of worn and stained. That's okay. It's lived in. This is all like my coffee stuff, and that's why... It's got like nice brown stains on it because it's um, coffee in there. <laughs> My little coffee pot and all the accoutrement. And then down here I have um, some vitamins, eye drops, all the things you need for being on the road. And below, this cabinet is lifted up off the ground um, and I built a box underneath it. And then this part, and this may be filthy dirty, I haven't been in here in a while. It's just held on by Velcro, and then there's extra shoes in there. It's kind of hidden. It's my hidden spot. But it's just shoes. Nothing interesting. <laughs> um, this, I'm thinking, will just be covered with a short drape. Actually, all the way back. Because down here, it's just random storage stuff. This stuff is not full yet, which makes me happy. It will probably get filled up. <laughs> I, I'm uh, trying not to acquire more things, but so clothing. This is just like folded t-shirts and some shorts and pants. And then like uh, socks and underwear and 
um, extra towels and stuff like that. And then up here is more storage. These are kind of cool. These are um, like floppy. They're made out of um, like felt. And uh, felt? Yeah, felt. <laughs> they're from Ikea. Even though they're floppy, um, they actually hold things in quite well. Nothing has flown out of these things while I'm driving or stopping, which is good. And these are little just Ikea spice racks that I just put on the wall here. And most of this stuff, well, there's other random things, but most of it is like food and spices and hand sanitizer. <laughs> Natural hand sanitizer. And then I have my bed. I've slept on it now for like three nights, I think. I, maybe. I, the last few nights I've slept quite well. I use the original sheets that I had for the other bed and the mattress cover and I just use safety pins and I just, you know, wrapped it around and safety pinned it on the bottom, on the back. And it's working great. The sheets are fine. Um, they haven't slipped. They haven't moved. It's awesome. Working out well. So yeah, happy about that. And I lost my little table. I think I mentioned it before. It used to be above the um, this cabinet. It used to be above it. And I'd eat on it, I'd um, work, use it as a work top, work station. So, what I've done, which I, I used to do this too when I would do like cooking videos, I would, I had this um, bamboo um, cutting board that has like a lip on it. This is from Ikea. Right. What I'm considering doing is um, getting a smaller cutting board or, or some kind of board so it would be on a hinge and it would... Um, so it could be right here, which would be a better height, and it would be right in front of me when I'm sitting. Oh, here's my drawers. Um, they're the same ones as before, but that's where I keep all my plates and cooking ware and stuff. And um, and this is a cool little hidden drawer where I keep like you know my utensils and then various other junk. And uh, it's hidden, you know, kind of it's recessed behind this big drawer, which I like. And down here is where I keep most of my food stuff, or a lot of my dry goods stuff. Um, yeah, my my hemp hearts, my seaweed snacks, and my sprouted pumpkin seeds, <laughs> and grass-fed beef jerky, and tons and tons of low mercury tuna. <laughs> Here's the rest of my storage. Um, it's pretty packed in right now. This is a sealed up bag from Ikea that has like extra clothing, like warmer clothes and clothes that I won't fit into until I lose 20 more pounds. <laughs> and, uh, but anyways, this space, um, we built, well, mostly Scott built this wall, um, but I helped. Uh, this is a new support wall, little half wall, but we purposely left this large like 25 inch space um because i might put another one of these cabinets in like you saw me at ikea going crazy um i'm just not sure what kind of cabinet i want or if i actually want the cabinet or not so that would go here and then back here this is my my protection my back my baseball bat and uh and then like my water storage is back here and and so on. These drapes usually hang off of a rod that goes up here. I just put a couple of simple little um, hooks here for my bath towel and my hand towel, face towel. And this is my favorite towel. I have two of them, I think. <laughs> my little whales. And I guess that's it. And that's my new van. <laughs> it's just slightly altered. I like I said, it's not drastic, but I think it's going to make a big difference for me. And I'm pretty happy with it. And um, again, I thank Scott for all his help and Terry for her support. <laughs> thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you down the road.